Hello, once again, Fusers. I'm here today to talk a bit about one of the flagship features of Centrifuge 4.0, Centrifuge Connect. Centrifuge Connect is Centrifuge's integration with the cloud. More and more car PCs are connected to the internet now, either through tethering or dedicated data dongles. So we figured it was high time to utilize this data in a smart, fast, and revolutionary way. In this video, I'll just be giving an overview and a short walkthrough of some of these new features. First things first, you'll need to have at least Centrifuge 4.0 or above to use Centrifuge Connect. If you don't have this version yet, you can order it or upgrade it from the centrifuge.com website. You can download the latest Centrifuge Connect directly from the market. After installation, it will appear on one of your default home screen buttons. If it doesn't, just press and hold on a home screen button and select Connect from the list that appears. Also, don't forget to input your credentials from the app settings page. They are the same that you use to access the market app and log into centrifuge.com. You'll see in the settings page a few more selectable options, giving CF Connect the ability to automatically sync playlists, routes, and your car's locations. Once you have all these things in order, you'll need to sync at least once from Centrifuge before you can edit media and playlists from the website. Let's hop into Connect and see what we have. The default screen is the sync page, telling you the options you currently are letting Connect sync with and the dates that these syncs occurred. Playlists shows you all of the currently synced playlists and destinations are all of your synced POIs. Very straightforward. We'll be back here in just a few minutes, but let's check out the Centrifuge Connect website in the meantime. Go ahead and navigate to centrifugeconnect.com, and you'll be greeted with a login and a quick breakdown of the CF Connect features. Now log in near the top again with the same account credentials you have on centrifuge.com, and you're ready to get started. First, we're going to head into the playlist dropdown and select New Edit. You'll immediately see all the content you just synced up from within Centrifuge. Everything on the top half of the page is where your synced media will be. We've already broken down all of your media into genres, artists, and title tracks. Now the bottom half of the page is where your temporary playlist will be going. You can drag any label from up top into the bottom and it will be added to the playlist. Now if you have a lot of media like I do, it's easy to get overwhelmed. So to break down these lists into manageable pieces, you can select any genre or artist from the left and the adjacent window will narrow its results to fit into that selection. Alright, so now that we understand the layout, we can start creating our playlist. Like I said, simply drag any media from any section in the header into the section below and the corresponding tracks will be added to a playlist in the bottom window. So first off, I decided to add this entire artist to my playlist. Next, I decided I only want a few John Mayer tracks added to my playlist. So I click that artist, select his tracks, and drag him to the bottom. So after a quick review, I've decided this is what I want my entire playlist to be. Simply drag to the bottom, click Save Playlist, give it a name and a description if you'd like, and click Save. Now let's jump back into Centrifuge. Back into the Connect app and select View Playlist from the left side. You'll immediately see the new playlist you just added from the website. The download icon on the far right means that this playlist hasn't been synced yet. Just click this playlist from the list view and the playlist will be downloaded to your machine. You can now select this playlist from your media library. It's important to remember that CF Connect only syncs playlist information. No actual media files are being transferred between servers. This ensures that even if you're on a typical 3G connection, syncing will occur as quickly and seamlessly as possible. Next on the agenda is finding and syncing a new POI from CF Connect. Head back to our website and select New POI Search from the Destinations menu in the header. On the left, you'll see a place to enter in a new POI search along with a few other search modifiers. On the right is a Google Maps snippet that will be displaying our results. 
So I'll be doing a quick search for chicken and just with my zip code for my area and a search radius of five miles. We click find and quickly see all the results in my area. So there's a lot of chicken places apparently around me. So let's use this handy slider bar near the bottom to find one that looks deliciously close. This KFC here looks pretty good. Let's see how far away it is. I like the location of this restaurant. So I'm gonna scroll back down to the list, select save, get a quick breakdown of the address and phone number, select save again, and send it through the cloud. As you can see, this entire process is very straightforward and simple. To verify what we've just done, we can go back into Centrifuge, into Connect, and view our destinations and see them all right here. To directly route to any of these points through Destinator, just click one of the selections and you'll be off to Tasty Chicken in no time. There's a few other neat little features that we're working on with Centrifuge Connect. Go to the header under Connect Plus. And you can see we have a hotel locator, a fast food locator, a restaurant guide, and a local events guide. These features are still in beta, but stay tuned as we introduce more and more of them. As always, Fusers, thanks very much for watching, and we really hope you enjoy Centrifuge 4.0 and its new feature set.